The browser is the gateway to the internet. And just a couple years ago, all we had was Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. But today we have tons of browsers. We have AI browsers, we have non-AI browsers, we have fresh looking browsers, we have dirty looking browsers. We just have every sort of browser. So in today's video, as someone who spends 99.9% .9 of their time on a browser, I'm going to be going through all the browsers that I've used, that I'm currently using. And one thing I want to share with you is we're going to go through all of them. Now you might be wondering why am I an authority to be telling you which browser is the best? I'll tell you this one thing. I am not faithful when it comes to my browsers. I switch browsers every three to four weeks. And the reason being is there's always something lacking. And a lot of you might just say, oh, why don't you just use Chrome? Like I mentioned earlier, I spend most of my time working on the computer and that time is on a browser. I want to like where I'm working and I want to feel great you know like you ever like work in a clean workspace or in a cafe that looks nice and fresh and clean and they got the eucalyptus where it smells all good and all that stuff i'm pretty sure it's eucalyptus but we're just gonna call it eucalyptus for now you ever been in that type of environment it just feels great it feels nice that's how i feel about my browser so this is what we're going to do i have seven browsers here we're going to go through each browser i'm going to put them on a tier list i'm going to help you categorize them so you can decide which browser you're using if you are satisfied with chrome then i feel sorry for you this video is not for you but if you're someone like me who wants to enjoy where they work at sit back relax let's go through these browsers so first on the board we have zen browser now zen browser is unique because this is the only browser from this entire list that is firefox based now most of you will have your reservations because it's firefox based but firefox has lately been making changes for example gradients now work in firefox so maybe this is an investment you're willing to make but the reason why i put zen browser here on this list this is in my opinion the best arc alternative now most of you remember arc our beloved browser the one that won our hearts the one we fell in love with, but inevitably felt betrayed with. Um, this is the best alternative to ARC. So it looks like ARC, it feels like ARC, it's snappy. And here's the beautiful thing, it's open source, right? So you, if you're a developer, can contribute to the success of this browser. So just like ARC, if you remember, it has the beautiful sidebar and I can do Command S and I can have that full screen if I want to. And it's pretty snappy, look at me, click between the tabs. If I want to have different spaces, I can do that. I can create a new space. I can call this work. And now these spaces are partitioned. So context from this space and this space don't share. If I'm logged in for work stuff here, it's not shared here. Everything we knew and loved about Arc is available on Zen. The only caveat is it is Firefox based. Going back to the website, they even have these things called Zen mods, which are like these plugins that are made by the community that just enhance your browser experience. Arc had something like this. So if you miss Arc and you're sad because it doesn't work well, I know the team at browser company is saying they're, it's being made but it doesn't really feel like it zen is a great alternative so if i were to put zen on a tier list we're giving zen a solid b and if i were to put it in the categories this is a great arc alternative now in terms of vibes i put it close to immaculate and in terms of innovation it's somewhere in the middle because yeah what they're doing is cool it's been done before but they're doing it great i give zen a solid b tier now before you get salty and complain why don't we go through all the browsers then you can complain about my tier list next up we have aura browser which again is an arc alternative this is fully open source as well and this is what i love about these new browsers they're fully open source so there's no gotchas there's no you know we're going to pull an arc we hate this browser we're going to start something new so i love that aura like zen is pretty similar to arc so if you missed arc and loved arc aura is that great alternative this one though is chromium based so if you're a diehard chromium bro and you don't want firefox and aura is for you i will say zen is a bit faster when i click between the tabs there is a slight lag but i'm sure this is something the team will work on and fix so if you're again an arc bro you miss arc and you want Arc to come back, it's not coming back, you can download Aura or Zen, that is completely up to you. I will give Aura a B tier as well. Now, in terms of vibes, 
and innovation, it literally is on the same playing field as Zen Browser. It's a matter of whether you prefer Chromium or Firefox. If I had to pick between the two, I would pick Zen simply for it being a bit faster. Now the next browser is Deta by Surf. This one, in my opinion, is the most innovative browser. It's the most different one. It's the freshest one. And I almost feel like they saw my video where I talked about Dia. I basically shared some feature requests. And the biggest feature request was, I told the Dia team I wish their browser had like a built-in Notion note style setup. I didn't have the full conceptual idea of how it would work, but someone who uses Notion, someone who writes a lot of notes, I wish the browser allowed me to take notes. Now, a couple of things about Surf before we get into it. It's open source, the data is stored locally, and this is an AI browser. But I will say this, out of all the AI browsers, this is my favorite one. So I use Surf as a daily driver, but what I use Surf more is for learning, right? And the reason being is, this is what a new tab looks like. I have these notebooks, I can search the web, so I can type in YouTube, and I can go to youtube.com, but really what's interesting to me is this notebook style search that they have. So for example, let's say I wanted to create a new notebook and we'll call this study. And in a notebook, I can create notes. So I'll create a new note and I'll say um, geometry, right? I don't know why I would wanna learn about geometry, but I have a notion style note taker where I can write notes, I can take notes. But then I can also ask their AI chat, teach me about geometry. And the AI is going to use this notebook and it's going to fill my notebook with notes. It's going to write notes and then I can edit these notes. I can further work on these notes. It feels nice. I love the fact that my note taker is in the browser. Now, sure, some of you nerds are going to say use Notion and I do, but I like this. This to me makes sense. This is an AI browser that I actually use and I don't remember any of this, praise the Lord. So if I wanted to study about geometry, I can use this browser to do so. Another thing also is the way search works, right? So let's say I wanted to search, how does the Canadian parliament work? Because it seems like these people never do it, get anything done. So I can search the web, or I can ask Surf. And when I ask Surf, it basically creates a new note, right? It's gonna generate the title, and then it's gonna populate the response of my question in the notes. So you can see it thinking here. And as you can see, it's giving me a response. Now, the one gripe I have with AI browsers and AI in general, anytime it does some sort of task for you, it is a bit slow. It is, it's not lightning fast. But Surf honestly is the only browser where I would justify using an AI browser. It feels intuitive, it feels nice. I actually use it for learning. And let's say like I bought Matt's AI SDK course. I can click on the Ask tab and I can take notes here, right? But I can also ask questions. So I have a note taker built in. I can, so as I'm watching the course and I'm learning stuff, I can, you know, take my notes. I can, again, this is a Notion style editor. I can ask the AI question. This to me, especially if you're a student or you're a knowledge worker or you like learning new stuff, this browser is top tier. I am very impressed with Surf by the Data team. So Data is actually going to get an A tier, ladies and gents. Data gets an A tier. And in terms of categories, data is an AI browser. In terms of vibes, I would give it a bit more. I would move Zen and Aura a little bit down, and I would give data a bit more. And in terms of innovation, this is, in my opinion, the most innovative browser, right? It's fresh, it's new, it's a different outlook, right? So data team, keep cooking. I love your browser. Now we're going to talk about Helium. Now, Helium has been getting a lot of attention because of some crypto bros starting B for no reason, but Helium is what I would call a simple and elegant browser. There's no AI, there's no note taking, there's none of that. There's privacy, it's open source, and it looks great. I love how the tabs look, they're very nice, and the design is very clean. Again, design is very important to me. How the browser look is looks is very important to me. So Helium is my daily driver. This is what I use for everything, for work, for myself, for regular browsing, 
all that stuff. Helium is what I use. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's fast. It's elegant. It's simple. There's no AI. It does what it's supposed to do. Helium is A tier. Helium is A tier. Honestly, I know we're not allowed to do this, but I would say close to an S tier. Very close to an S tier. Now you might ask, what will bring Helium over to the S tier. Now there was an update recently and when I updated, I lost all my login information. And I understand again, it's pretty early, it's open source, it's one person working on this legend. So that's why I haven't given it an S tier. And another reason I haven't given it an S tier is I keep, like I'm not faithful to any browser, right? I keep moving around. I use Helium and Surf side by side. So the moment a browser fully has me and I'm fully committed, then it's an S tier. So Helium is, in my opinion, one of the best browsers it is nowhere in this category. In terms of vibes, I give it just right, all aligned with data, pretty good. And in terms of innovation, it's basically your uncle. It's, it's regular, right? But it just does it so well. And now we have the AI browser trio. We have Comet, we have Atlas, and then we have Dia. Now, what do all these browsers have in common? They are AI powered or AI first browsers. Now, first let's start with Comet and Comet is by Perplexity and Perplexity did a very smart thing with building a browser because Perplexity is essentially building a search engine and you can't win in the search engine wars if you do not win the browser wars, right? Because Chrome right now wins the, is winning the browser wars. There, there's some threats, but I still think Chrome is in the lead. So it makes sense for Perplexity to do this. Now, the thing about Perplexity is the, by default, what you're going to be using is Perplexity Search or Comment Assistant, whatever they call it, right? So you can see that I, I don't get Google.com, I don't get Google results. And when I mean Google results, I mean like the links like Google, right? So this is all fine and dandy. But I saw myself when using Comment, and this goes for like Dia and for Atlas, I saw myself going to google.com a lot. And the reason being is, ladies and gents, I don't know if you know this, who is winning the Blue Jays game. So I don't know if you know this, Google has an AI mode, right? And oftentimes when I ask questions, the first result other than this case is an AI response. And that's pretty fine for the most part, right? So a lot of people might enjoy this, but me personally, I, I found no value in this. Now. The assistant is pretty cool where you can sort of give it tasks. So for example, I have this tweet right here. And what I can do is I can say, summarize the responses from people who disagreed with me. All right. So this is a tweet I had that went pretty viral. And then a lot of people disagreed. A lot of people agreed. So I can tell the comment assistant to summarize people's disagreement with me. And it did that, right? So for stuff like this, I actually enjoy the AI browsers, right? Like if I, if there's a page and there's a lot of text, usually this is the case when I'm on like a government page, like CRA and like it's tax season and they have this long list of garbage that I'm not about to read all that. I would ask the assistant, summarize this or tell me where I find this or where's the homepage or where's this, where's that? This is where AI browsers shine. But it's not enough of a pain point for me to fully commit to one, right? I still like Google.com. I still like the simplicity of Helium. The only AI browser that is doing enough to convince me and, and convert me for a lack of a better term is Surf. So this is how I feel about Comet. And this is also how I feel about Atlas. Atlas, I actually feel a tad bit worse because I don't even have a Google account anymore. I have to log in with my ChatGBT account, right? Sure, again, AI is here to eat the world and it's the future and this, that, and the third, but I actually prefer Google than this, to be honest with you, right? Now, again, I've seen people, oh, book me a hotel, all those automations and workflows, but they are too slow. I still don't know anyone who trusts AI to book a flight for them, right? So is this, is this something that's going to take over in the future? Sure. But right now, I'm actually not a fan of both Comet and Atlas. D is a different story. The reason why I say D is a different story, it's because it is AI powered, but it doesn't push it on me. Although yes, this is an AI powered browser. It's not AI first, right? It's browser plus AI versus Comet and Atlas feel AI plus browser. 
And this is why I prefer Dia over Atlas and uh, Comet. And now a lot of you are going to be like, oh, but Dia and Ark, they betrayed us. I get all that. I get all that. They killed Ark. But if I'm talking about which browser I would rather use, I would give Dia a B. And then Comet is a C. Atlas is a C. Now, if I were to categorize them, um, these are, of course, AI browsers. So we're moving them to the AI browser side. And in terms of vibes, I would call Atlas and Comment basically the same thing. They're above regular, but nowhere near immaculate. Um, and in terms of innovation, um, sure, right? You guys are doing something. So I will give you that. But if I were to pick AI browsers, there is no one that is better than Surf in my opinion. So this is my browser tier list. Do you agree, disagree? Are you using any of these browsers? Which one are you gonna try out? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below. I hope you're enjoying these weekly uploads. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.